In this video, we're going to learn how to set up a new device. At the very left of the screen, you'll find the main navigation bar. Click Device. Click Add New Device. At this point, could add a user and a device at the time if this was a brand new user. For information about how to add a new user, see the related video on Add a New User. Or, in this example, I'm going to add a device to an existing user. To add a device to an existing user, I would search for the user, and I would select the user I wanted to add the device to, and I would enter the device name. Maybe this is my second laptop that I'm adding. And I would select what type of policy that I wanted to assign to this user. Now, there are some prepackaged policies the most four that are most commonly used is self-managed or centrally managed. The difference between self-managed and centrally managed is a self-managed, you're allowing the user to have complete choice about the files, folders, settings that the user can manage and set by themselves. A centrally managed policy is where the central admin is going to enforce policy and not give the user any choice. The other most two common policies are at rest encryption, are you going to enforce it or not? And so by a combination of self-managed, no at rest encryption, self-managed at rest encryption is enforced. Centrally managed, again, the admin in this case is going to be setting all of the uh, features and enforcing that policy and centrally managed uh, at rest uh, encryption. And at this point I would select the storage quota. The storage quota for SAS or in the cloud is a logical limit just used for accounting and report purpose. There is no logical physical upper limit with respect to how much data a device can store in the cloud nor is there no upper limit as to how much data a company can store uh, in the cloud. This is simply um, a, a setting for reporting. Should you decide or desire uh, to um, enforce this policy, there is an option to enforce this policy, but in the majority of the cases we do not want to enforce the policy because in fact we want to encourage users to store as much information in the cloud as they desire and we don't want to have any users backup fail because they've hit some sort of upper logical limit. If I was to create the device at this point, the Vault will automatically send an email to the email on record for that user. You can change this email setting in the user settings of the vault and in that email will be the download link and the one-time registration key for um, that user to install the uh, software on their laptop and register their laptop. 